I think that's what heaven sounds like. I want to hear this when I die. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play. I believe this is our fifth episode of this adventure. We just beat Roxanne and we went to the Devon Corporation and got a secret package from Mr. Stone to deliver to his son, Stephen Stone. So we're gonna head off to Duford Island probably and maybe get ourselves a gym badge while we're there. Cause we are kicking some major booty. Try not to swear as much anymore. We're working on it. Oh, it's Brennan. Oh, are we gonna battle him? Hey, Jirachi. <laughs> How's your Pokedex? Completed any entries yet? Mine pretty much rules. I went on a Pokemon catching frenzy in the Petalburg woods until I ran out of Pokeballs. <laughs> okay, Brendan, we all don't have to be try hard. <laughs> oh yeah, I passed by Mr. Briny in Petalburg woods. I bet he was on his way home to his cottage on Route 104. I love how they highlight stuff like that. I think they probably say it differently. <laughs> I guess you would know since you just moved here and all, but they say that the old guy used to be an amazing sailor. Oh, it was definitely, oh my God, hang on. Back to the lore. I bet, oh no, we went over this. Well, I'm just gonna talk to him to verify. I bet that Mr. Devin, Mr. Stone, Mr. Devin, went on rousing adventures with Mr. Briny. Is that, oh no, he's not there anymore. Did you have a thing with Mr. Briny? Oh, I need to know! Did you have a thing with Mr. Briny? Please, please tell me where you came for each other. I need answers. I need to know. Dude, tell me the thing that you said before. Oh, uh, oh! Two of them, along with one other friend, used to travel all the corners of the world together in their youth. Yes, that's what we learned in the last episode. It's just been a hot second since I've done this. Oh my god, so it was him. So he was an amazing sailor, just like someone else we know who is an amazing sailor, but who doesn't have a pirate ship for some reason. I thought that would definitely would be something that they gave them, and then it wasn't. Why doesn't Team Aqua have a pirate ship? Team Plasma got a pirate ship <laughs> that flies. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Yeah, okay, Brendan, Jesus Christ. He's such a <laughs> He's so mean to me, and why? All right, we're, we're trucking. We're gonna put Surfy up front. Um, Cause Surfy is a little weak. Same with Bless. But Blessed is gonna start coming in clutch real soon here. And we're gonna need to get our hands on some Everstones. <laughs> or we're gonna have a long haul here. It's gonna be a, a long old adventure. Oh, are we free? Oh my God, there was a really loud noise and now I think it's gone. Oh good, oh good, okay. We're back on track. Here we are. We're ready to roll. Mr. Briny, I want your ship. I want your ship. Oh, uh, speaking of, I remember that there are some people down here where if you talk to them, Mr. Briny lives in that little cottage there by the sea. Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that for every single woman in this game? He was once an amazing sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. Interesting. Is it this kid? It might be this kid. Hello. Uh, I want to leave footprints in the sand everywhere, but they disappear. No, it's not this guy. I think it's this guy. I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. There's all this like fo like subtle foreshadowing foresha sometimes, I feel like, because you get to go to the bottom of the sea. Okay, let's go to Mr. Briny's. Hello. Oh, this is my favorite thing that I always did as a kid. I would make... No, 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 no,
I would make Pico like chase Mr. Briny. No, no. Oh, yes. Oh, they're really close together. Uh, and it, it, it looked better in like Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald because they would be like right in the like one square away from each other. You can't really see it. The same here. Oh, but it's so funny. I'm gonna step in front of Mr. Briny and do it again. <laughs> Don't mind this 12 year old just in your house. What do you got in the fridge over here? <laughs> Nothing. I can't even interact with it. Oh, he's got a beautiful portrait of a fish on the wall. See, when you slow down, you just really appreciate these finer details of this game. What a detailed and complex nuanced game. Hold on, lass. Oh, oh no, he, he did the old person voice. Hold on there, lass. Belay that, Pico. Oh, if it ain't Jirachi, you're the one who saved my Pico. Aye, but we owe you for that day. What's that? You want to sail with me? What's this all about then? A letter for Duford? Oh, a letter bound for Duford. <laughs> a letter for Duford? No problem at all. You come to the right man. Shall we hoist sail for Duford at once? abso fucking lootly. Let's get the frick out of here. Beautiful. Look at this highly detailed and complex game full of nuance. Look at that, man. That is pretty cool, actually. It's, it's such a step up from what it used to be. But you don't get to see passing um, Sea Mobile anymore, which used to be the abandoned ship in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. We've struck land in Duford, lass. I suppose you'll be heading ashore to deliver that letter to what's his name or whoever. If you're feeling lost and adrift, though, Try calling in on that island's Pokemon gym. Leader Brawly sure knows everyone and everything that goes on in his town. Cool, can we go to Slateport? No. No, take me to Slateport. Take me to Slateport, I wanna go shopping! Ah! <laughs> ah! The leader Brawly surely knows about everything. Okay. Well, here we are. Duford Island, Duford Town. A tiny island in the blue sea. Like Maxi, uh, I, my theory is that he lives in Fallover. Uh, I believe that Archie lived in Duford. Uh, I think I said that. I know some people would probably put him in Pacific Log, and I see that too. But that to me just seems like the most obvious answer. And I don't really, I don't like going for the most obvious answer. I like to be a little more subtle and nuanced. They you know, destroy whatever. Okay, let's talk to these people. Okay, you can still use HM moves. As long as you have Pokemon by your side, you can overcome language barriers and meet different kinds of people. Very dope. Blondie, sick. Look at you go. Okay. At the edge of town, there's a cavern known as Granite Cave. I've heard you can find rare stones there. I gotta deliver this letter to Steven Stone. Gotta find some rare stones. Super training, I uh, will probably not be doing that. Oh, did we get a rod from this guy? I get, are you getting the itch to fish? I got the itch to fish! I, <laughs> I like what you're saying, I'll give you one of my fishing rods. Nice, now I can catch a frick load of magic armor. <laughs> First you wanna face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind, if you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can snag something immediately, but with bigger catches, you need n time to pull in the rod. Okay. Face the water. Face the water. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no time for that. An extremely important lever to, St to Steven from the president of the Devon Corporation extremely important and it's like steven do your laundry <laughs> you stink boy you stink stupid steven stone yeah, okay so let's say hang on because i know meta that i have to go to granite cave i forget if it says it or not but let's say that i didn't know i had to go to granite cave 
Where would I find Steven Stone? This is not in the gym. <laughs> I swear, for some reason, my brain remembers the gym being there and the Pokemon Center being... Hello! <gasps> it's my dad! Yo, how's it going, champ to be Jirachi? Duford's gym leader, Brawly, commands fighting type Pokemon. Going against him with normal type Pokemon is asking for trouble. Fighting type Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown on normal type Pokemon, so lay on your toes. Hey, okay, go for it. I, okay, I'm just here to find Steven Stone, actually. We'll just, we'll come back. We'll do that later. Okay. Off we go! To the cave! To the cave! To the cave. Okay. Here's where we could catch a Mawile. If, okay, if we encounter one, if we encounter a Mawile without deliberately going out and looking for one, I will catch it. But if not, that's just the tides of fate, how they decided to roll for us. Oh, I thought you were gonna battle me. Zubat. Bliss. You get him. You get him, Blessed. No, don't do that. Okay. Well, that didn't hurt too bad. We're good. We're good. We can still, we're still, we're, we're going good. Okay. I have forgotten entirely how to play this game. Get him. Get him, Tiger. Yay. You did so well, Blessed. Look at you. Please level up. Yes, that's what we like to see, girl. All right. I thought you were gonna battle me. Gets awfully dark ahead, it'll be tough going trying to explore. Well, for us hikers, helping those out we meet is our motto. Here we go, I'll pass this on to you. We will never use that. Well, we might. Teach TM Flash to a Pokemon and use it. It lights up even the inky darkness of caves. Oh, I forgot, there's just these dudes. Standing in line, Steven Stone fanboys. The mural head has drawn a lot of attention lately. The other day, Team Something in red or blue suits. <laughs> he doesn't remember. Team Something in red or blue. I don't know which one it was. I know we have two of them. <laughs> and I know one wears red and the other wears blue. So it was one or the other. <laughs> Team something or other. <laughs> oh, thanks for ruining through It's like me. It looks like a huge Pokemon. There, there's like a line outside <laughs> the door. <laughs> Cutting in line is no bueno. <laughs> there's just a damn line. Wow, I guess we do have to challenge Brawly first. Well, that's probably gonna go badly. We'll sure, we'll sure give it our the old college try. Aww, it looks like Tabitha. <laughs> I saw that somewhere. I saw that somewhere that somebody thought Makuhita looks like Tabitha. I think it was even in some sort of weird like promo version that they did that I want to find. It's like hidden forbidden knowledge, but I have seen screenshots that I'll try to post of like, I think it was Matt calling Tabitha Makahita, like, in-game stuff. Like, I think for the Delta episode, and I don't understand in the context in which this occurred, and it might have been edited, but I know it exists. And if it doesn't exist, I've at least heard it before from somewhere or someone, probably Tumblr. Anyways, that's my rant. We killed this Makahita. I don't even know if that's really how you pronounce it, whatever. Nobody really knows how to pronounce any Pokemon names. We all just go along with whatever. Okay. Let's go heal and challenge Brawly. Challenge time. Oh, wait, hang on. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. I, I like what's hip, happening, and trendy. I'm always checking it out. Have you heard about these new potion festivals? That's right, of course you knew. I mean, potion festivals are the hottest thing and cool potion festivals are the biggest thing happening from where you're from too right i love how they talk so vaguely because it has to apply to anything uh no huh that's not the hip and happening thing well you have to tell me what's in what's in 
What is in? Um. Oh, I can only do this. That's stupid. Uh. Great ball. Great balls, huh? What's so great about them? Great ball houses. <laughs> Songs. Great balls dances. Great balls masters. <laughs> great ball school. Uh let's do houses. <laughs> I know about those. I just made that up. Potion, but it's great ball. It's great balls. Houses time now. What the shit? Duford Hall. Everyone exchanges information here. Of course, the trend right now is great ball houses. A life without great ball houses is unthinkable. I wonder if there's anything on TV about grape. How did they even hear this? The guy didn't even go inside and tell everyone. I came in the door and everyone just knew. They were like all standing outside the other side of the door, like listening in, like, what's he gonna say? What's he gonna say? Are grape ball houses even trendier overseas? Um, um, I've been doing some research on trendy grape ball houses. Great ball houses. Is it true that there's a deep relationship between great ball houses and service? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that so? It's not easy for an older fellow like me to keep up with the trends. I love this place so much. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And I don't know if it has any bearing on the game at all. I know in the originals it used to be like it would change the location of Feebass. I've been telling Pokemon about Great Ball Houses too. It's been pretty tough though. What are all these people on? Oh my God. My dream is to save up money to build my very own Great Ball House in Slateport where I've always wanted to live. Come visit me when it's built. Wow, if you really build your Great Ball House then it'll become a landmark in Slateport. Here's hoping you'll build a huge Great Ball House. Great Ball Houses. Great Ball Houses. <laughs> I'm collecting tons of great ball houses. <laughs> I've got great, great, what? Where are you getting these from? Where, where? Who are you people? We can't sit here. Oh, we can. Perfect. Okay. Well, now I guess we'll challenge Brawly. After whatever that was. Goodness, will we'll this? Uh, oh my god, we're in the Pokemon Center again. <laughs> well, we might as well heal up. I don't know the difference between a gem and a Pokemon Center. Apparently. Gem. And there's, hey dad, watch me shred it up in there. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. This girl is so ready to beat up a 12 year old and I concur, Laura. We got this though, we got this in the bag. Blessed, you can totally do this. I wish it would tell you like when it traced it, like what it did, but it doesn't. So you just kind of have to be like, well, I hope that's useful. S just scream in his face. That's our battle strategy, just screaming. Barely a scratch. Oh, blessed, come on. Blessed, no, pull through. That's okay, that's okay. You'll get them next time. You will get them next time. You've so got this in the bag. You've got this, you can do this. We'll get them next, third time's the charm. Third time is the charm. Third time is, third time is the charm. The second time doesn't really matter. Third time's the charm. See? You got this, blessed. You got it. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Are you kidding me? He's gonna endure it. It's gonna... 
he's not gonna die. Well, we're gonna use a potion then, because I want Bless to get this experience. You can't endure it more than once. Gross. Gross boy. Gross boy. Oh no, we need to just fight. Okay. We've got, we've got, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Just scream, blessed. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness gracious. There we go. Look at this. Perfect. Take that, Laura. <laughs> now she's crying. It's not my fault if you cry. Someone's projecting, are we? Ooh. Oh, I forgot. They really added some spunk to this gem. Okay. So we go here. Like, why, though? Like, why? Like, my, is my question is why. Might is right! Come on! Ooh, he's got a motto. Look at him go. Hideki. That's a very Japanese name, I think. Very Japanese. Okay, so we've got a much up. Bless is just gonna take it down. I don't know what no guard is. I hope it helps us. Bless was identified. Yep. That's a Ralts, all right. He says. Well, if that was a critical hat hit, we're in some duty. You got this. You so got this. It's so good. Oh no. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, take that. You can't beat up fairies. Don't challenge the fae. Don't do it. Don't. It's a really bad idea. Perfect. Perfect! Yay! Yeah, Moss Girl, you can learn Headbutt. We'll replace Tackle. Yay! Not enough power. Goodness gracious. Oh no, and it begins. I just spam the B button. Gotta get used to this. Gotta get used to this. I mean, I did it all the time as a child, but I only needed to do it once because I didn't care about the rest of them evolving just the Torchic, and now it's gonna be every single one. Perfect, hello. There's no reason for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. Man, the people are really aggressive. Like, I get it's a fighting type gym, but holy God. Y'all need to like take several, several chill pills. Hopefully this goes okay, you know? Detect my worst enemy. You can't do that forever. Ha! You made a mistake. Wrong move. No one can be blessed. Yeah, take that, punk. Bless, you're so close to leveling up again, and I'm so proud of you, my little girl. My little angel baby. Okay. She is, she's tanking through this. She really is. She's just got to scream. Just scream. Okay, actually, I'm going to try Confusion. I forget if that's a good type. I feel just like such a bad Pokemon fan. <laughs> it's also super effective. Oh my god, you are a tank. Gonna get through this. Oh my god, bless. I love you. She's a wall. Look at this wall we have. 
she's a wall. No one can get, no, nothing gets past bless the Ralt. Nothing. Nothing fucks with my baby. By Hozier. Andrew Hozier. I feel like his middle name is Joseph, but I also feel like that's not correct. Andrew Joseph Hozier. Let's use another potion. No. <laughs> Great Vault. No. <laughs> we cannot escape. Okay, there we go. Now oh, I forgot. Okay. Uh, up, down, through that way. No, 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 no. We gotta go. No. I can't see what's up there. Uh, okay, no, there's another light up there, so we do need to go this way, I think. I think. And then there's another light, right? Oh, it's the, it's Brawly! Look who it is! Getting that aerobics in. Aerobic. I've never done one exercise ever. All right. I'm Brawly. I'm Duford's gym leader. I've been churned in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough using the cave at the outskirts of this town as my training ground, as well as using equipment in this gym. So you want to challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. Look at him go. Look at him go. I can't believe we're already having another gym fight. This is, this is nuts. This is absolutely bonkers. You are challenged by Leader Brawly. Send out Machop. Well, we know how to take these boys down. Every time I don't cuss, I should put a quarter in my no cussings. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, uh, the type is a little bit this, that that's not very fair because all the trainers leading up to this were like on level like 11 and now we've got like level 14 and that's really high and i was just gonna go with blessed the whole time and that's apparently not gonna work but look at our girl he didn't even use a potion or a full restore or nothing look at her go look at her go our wall and chip has officially grown to and water baby level up party level up party look at this and no we've got a makuda now i had a very traumatic experience as a child uh when i fought a makuda with my torchic with the everstone and it used knockoff and i don't think that that actually uh, takes the item away forever. But I definitely thought that it did, and I started crying, because I was like, no, now my Torchic is gonna evolve! And it was horrible, and I immediately just shut the game off without saving. Blessed! <laughs> Blessed just took him down while I wasn't even watching! Wow, great job. I got $19 for that. All right, you got me. Take this gym badge. Wow, that was so easy. I received the knuckle badge. Hoo, hoo. The knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you got in trades. Obey without question. Hmm, you know what? I think you can make full use of this too. I'm sure it will help your Pokemon bulk up some muscle. Bulk up. Nice joke, Teehee. Bulk up temporarily enhances Pokemon's muscle power. The move boosts attack and defense stats of the Pokemon. I can see your talent becoming a giant wave that causes a storm of astonishment with trainers one day. I look forward to the day that I can surf your giant wave. <laughs> what the fuck? By the way, have you been to Grand Canyon? <laughs> We're just gonna <laughs> ignore that. It's located to the north of this town. It's full of destiny stuff like rare stones and wall paintings thousands of years old. My friend Steven rushed to the cave after I told him about it, as if he had never heard about it ever before. He's probably lived on this good, God's good earth for like, what, 25 years? To be fair, if there was a really cool cave living like down the street from me, I probably wouldn't know about it either because I don't leave my house. This is the first time Steven's ever gone outside. Left the Pokemon League. Well, with that done, it's probably been, hey dad, we won. Dad, we won. 
It's turned too bright in here. Your future's bright too. Thank you, Dad. You're so supportive to me, unlike my real father, my father that might not be my father that my mom is obsessed with and moved all the way here to follow, follow a celebrity. Look at that poster. Okay, with all that said, I think we're gonna call it here, actually, so next time we'll meet Stephen Stone in our next episode, because it's probably been, it's probably been around 20 minutes, 20, 30 minute mark. Now we're gonna go see Stephen. We're gonna go see Stephen. I lied. Don't listen to anything I just said. And this might end up being 40 minutes long, but the last one was also like 40 minutes, wasn't it? I think it was. Okay. Let's go. Steven! Steven Stone! He was my first crush, I think. Like, as, as like a 10 year old. Like my first anime boy crush, which I think that's pretty common. And there's the mural of Groudon and Kyogre with the volcanoes exploding. But it's just Kyogre in this one. Or, Groudon! What game are we playing? That's Groudon! I am looking thoughtfully at this mural. Yes, yes, I seem very important. I have locked out everyone. I was like, move out of the way, I'm the Pokemon League champion, no one else is allowed to be here when I'm brooding. So in the ancient world, their primal forms once held this much power? The super ancient Pokemon. What terrible strength. But this appearance here, it seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. Hmm. It seems my questions will not be answered today. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Letter from your father here, Mr. Brooding Man. I see, it's a pleasure, Jirachi. My apologies, my name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Today my journey brought me here, but what about you? Oh, a letter for me. Jirachi gave Steven the letter she had been entrusted with. Nice. Why, thank you. It must have been some trouble to track me down. I suppose I must repay you in some way. Well, I mean, yeah, when you locked everyone out of this part of the cave, because you're the only one that's allowed to come and brood here. Let me see. I will give you this TM. Please accept it. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Nice. If you don't mind me asking, do you feel anything particular when you look at this wall? Power, lust, disappointment, <laughs> anger. <laughs> a primal world lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. I'm gonna go be sad somewhere else then. <laughs> But not all power is terrible. I am allowed to have as much power as I want. <laughs> and kick all the plebs out of the building. <laughs> Your Pokemon are clearly quite capable as well. Looking at you all together. I think you have, it, you have in you what it takes to become a Pokemon League champion. I'm going to be very deliberately vague about that. Because it's supposed to be a big dramatic secret that I'm the Pokemon League champion. Despite the fact that I kicked everyone out of this cave. As long as you keep up your training, that is. You'll never match me. Good luck. I must be going now. I have to go be sad elsewhere. Wow. Look at this. Look at that Groudon. Look at that Groudon. There is a symbol recreating the character of Mago on the Beast's two arms. Look at that Groudon. Look at that Groudon. Maxi stared at the figures of the two primordial beasts with his eyes. <laughs> Throwback to that video. <laughs> this is what I was referencing. And with that, I think that we are going to officially call it having met Stephen Stone, having battled Brawly, we will make our way to Slateport City and see what adventures await us there because I genuinely forget what happens next in the game. I know we eventually have to go to Mauville. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Bye.